So noted for roaming, especially last year on H2K. They're going to come out hard and swinging. I'm wondering, I'm worried if Giants are prepared to handle this. And this Pyra is a Nidalee composition. Right, and let's see, Gathred is caught. Oh, the flash, they keep following him. This has got to be it. First blood, no, not yet. There we go. Yarnin picks it up. Three flashes all together, but look at how mobile this team is. It's going to be hard to do. Tanyaka, he's caught in the wrong neighborhood here. Nowhere to hop to. Kasing is there. Nuke Duck's there. There's the flash. The spear doesn't connect, but the flash for Kasing, and they also get out of the cannon barrage. Obviously, also for Vitality, you're going to have to play the split pushing. Adam going in. Oh, yes, he is. And there's a spider right behind him. Nuke Duck biting off more than he could chew. But Tanyaka gets a kill for himself. Number one, of course, for either team. Vitality will get some extra bonus stats for them available. Giants not able to get anything else for it as Kabachar is still threatening on this bottom side. They've sent Adam to the top. But if they can force Vitality to try and chase and tunnel on him like they just saw, maybe they can get a Wombo combo. Well, it's it's also about using the time when you know the other team is taking something. Oh, let's see, Nuke Duck. Yeah, there was a catch. Nuke Duck a little bit low, but he's still getting out. Now Peppy Scott has to flash away. Teleport flank coming in. Adam gets the knockup this time. Unstoppable force. And he looks to chase down Kasing now. Godfrey hopping to him. Play backwards. Combo charge there. A few members of Giants have peeled off. Seems like a bit of a miscommunication, but Audrey comes right back on in. Death charge lands out of Atong Yaka. Knocks him up for just a second, but no other damage dealt. Kasing gets the hook up. Atong plays him in. Combo shard takes him out. Big anchor. And it's a one-for-one one trade. More ability to push around the map, and look, he's not contested right now. He goes he behind the lines. The Tong is jumping up, but he is not going to last long. Why but goes there? up, must come down. Combo TP, looks for Godfrey, hooks on, and all of a sudden, the power switch is gone. New Duck around the side, taking tower shots, but he just doesn't care at this point. And now Audrey a little bit low. There's the cannon barrage. will force the back away. Adam goes in with the unstoppable force. Only lands on Shook before retreating into his base. Good connection on the barrels of X Peppy, but still it is not enough damage. But Tongyaka and Godfrey are still down for a good 18 seconds. Kabuchar could fall here, but Adam has got to be careful. Also a huge difference in where these teams are in the stand. Vitality pick up Dragon number two now. Get a pick. Hook lands on Peppy and Lantern. All the way out, Kasin gets Baton Yaka again. They don't want to go in on that one because Godfrey's there. Sends the Brahm ulti out, catches two. Barrels are set and ready, but they've already backed away except for Kabuchar, who just keeps taking the line. And Nuketuck comes around the side, Fol polishes off Godfrey, looks for Peppy. That's the double. The shield keeping him alive, and the rest of Giants are melting in the back. That's a triple kill for Nuketuck. Adam sends the ulti sky high, but it doesn't matter with no backup. That's the. Walks right into it. They get caught out. They end up dying very late. Coordination is not there for them, and Vitality are just in full control of this game. Honestly, feel like they have been almost 27 minutes. The pressure is high. A tower falls. Someone has to be bot lane here. No one's really? reacting. Nuketuck's in the mid. Adam's trying to force the issue, but he doesn't get a single knockup now. Trying to take out Yarnin, and he gets yanked in with the lantern. Nuketuck coming around the side. Cannon barrage. Yarnin might fall here, but he's still got enough shield. Finally shut down, and Vitality are just trying to move away as slowly as they can. A double kill going over to Audrey just before Vitality can react to it. This is starting to resemble what they were doing against Unicorns. That game was, you know, about 30 minutes. This game, if trends continue, might end pretty soon as well. A lot of damage. Yarden, however, gets stunned up. A misstep from him, stunned by the Winter's Bite and the follow-up. But still, so many members of Giants commit to that mid. All of a sudden, Nuketuck says, that's fine. I'm just going to pack away at your tower. Unstoppable Force Burn, Cannon Barrage. Nuketuck might go down here, and he will, but not before getting a whole lot of... So they just get every movement on the map spotted. I'm waiting that point where Giants now they've been getting a few kills here. They got a tower. Find Yarnin looking to try and march down to save with the rest of Vitality. I mean, right here, you got the TP now. There's a TP flank around the back. Immediately Vitality move away, but they might be caught here. Because Sing, he's the one who gets pulled over by Adam. But Kabushar taking the line in front as Nuketuck answers back onto the big rock man. And now Peppy still trying to let the barrels fly, but Godfrey's the one who's caught. Yarnin picks up the kill. And he keeps on pushing. All said and done, it's a one for two. Vitality caught out. Best situation Giants could have hoped for. And they lose more than they give. Again, too much focus on the wrong member. Like, you don't need to destroy Kissing here at all. You're aiming for Yarnin or Nuke Duck. Like, you want to take down one squishy. You don't want the damage dealers. He's coming right back in. He's already backed after all. That one throws the hook, and it's not going to land on far enough ahead. It might be able to just peel off and take these fights consistently.
but they're still just trying to get a catch on to Pethy, and they do play it back. Oranges aren't even going to be nearly enough, and he burns the flash before going down. Adam gets a knockup, but there's still no follow-up. He just tried to use it as an escape path. They play it back in. Kabushar tanking most of that coaling as Yarnin picks up another kill. And forget about the Baron. They're marching on the base. They can get everything now. Pyra here, two members dead from Josh Petungyager. Oh, he's got to go down now, trying to flash his way away. And he may not be safe after this one gets Nuked uh, caught up in a cocoon, but it won't be much longer before he turns into a big, beautiful butterfly and ends this one. Tower's starting to fall. That's, That's the first definitely of the not next a butterfly. Turn. No, it's uh, it's something else entirely. But Batonyak, talk about something else. He's dead. Audrey and Godfrey, only ones left standing to try and hold the line, but it will not be enough. He's caught on another hook, courtesy of Kasing. Audrey nearly eats it back inside of his own fountain. The Nexus is going to fall. Vitality show why they are so powerful as they take down Giants Gaming.